we can restrict the number of character entered by the user in a text area welcome to plus to net uh, we can add text here uh, more text okay it will not allow us to go beyond 50 and so at the same time a progress bar is also displaying the number of characters in a visual display also you can see here how we are doing this we'll see this code we'll understand how you will uh, read the number of values enter and what is the upper limit how to set and how to display it in a progress bar also visit this url available in the description scroll down and copy the jquery ui basic structure we'll paste the code here so now first we'll display the our text area text area let us give its name as a t1 rows will give four columns 60 you can change it also id is t1 now let us close this text area area okay now we will display the numbers here so we will declare one div tag also div id is equal to d1 and uh, let us give the value 0 because initially no data is there now let us come to now this should display our uh, uh, text area let us see and refresh this okay it is displaying the text area now now let us come back to our come to our jquery area you can see in the jquery uh, we'll first interact or first we'll try to capture the key op event because whenever the user enters any key so we'll put t1 this is the selector of the text area now key up key up the function we are writing key of function will give fine so this is in between this whatever we write that will be counted now in this case what you will do we will first read the, we can get the string value whatever is entered in the text area by let us declare a variable str and str is equal to your our uh, inside text area whatever is uh, declared fine now we have one d1 where to display the numbers so d1 is the id of the div tag whatever you have used you can see we have used it here fine so this one html now this will be our length string str is the string whatever is entered in the in our text area so this string whatever the length is there that will be displayed here or in that the same as div tag here let us see now and uh, save this let's see how the output is let's refresh i will see this is text entered i am finally i am i will add up more code to this now this is the number of text i am entering that is appearing in the div tag now let us uh, add little bit more code here what you will do we will add one progress bar now so before this let us declare a progress bar progress bar uh, fine but before that we can also declare the minimum length required now this attribute uh, selector t1 the attribute is t1 t attribute there is a max length is there we will set that value max length attribute is let us say 50 we are keeping 50 you can keep it any value whatever you want so this is the attribute we are setting that uh, maximum length should be 50 now let us put this here now now in with this we cannot now exceed here if you save this and refresh this we cannot go beyond 50 now this is a testing only you can add more text my beyond okay i am stopped i am not allowed to cross 50 
because I have set the max length attribute here as 50. Now what is left is you let us go to add a progress bar. What you will do below this let us declare a progress bar. Now div id is equal to let's p1. You can give any other name also div. Now we'll declare it here or we can declare it above this. Now let us go it below that. Here we'll declare the progress bar. So let us say this is our selector P1. We have used P1 as our selector. Progress bar, progress bar, then we are, this is our end of our progress bar. So now what you will do for value, let us say value is, we will set it to 0. Then max value, let us set it to 50 that's all my our progress bar will be visible you can let's save it and check it also let's refresh this you can see the progress bar is visible also but what we are so far not restricted the progress bar max to uh, we are not linked with this one now what you will do is we will inside the key of function because every time the progress bar need to be uh, updated with the new value so we'll see p1 here you see I am declaring uh, I am selecting the progress bar. This is the selector of the progress bar. You can see our tutorial on progress bar also how to set or read the value. Now there is an option of the progress bar value. Now this also should be here. Okay, value. Now what is this? This is equal to str dot sorry str now this line is what it will every time you inside the key of function you can see this is kept inside the key of function here it is so this uh, once a key up is there the progress bar is data is updated the value with the entered str length or string length the str value is captured here every time a key is key of event is fired now let us save this refresh this type this is my text entered inside inside text area you can watch that uh, my progress bar is also in reflecting the amount of text i enter this is some okay uh, i have stopped now because it's not allowing me beyond 50 now i will delete something my progress bar is also decreasing this is how we can display progress bar whenever the user enters any text showing him how much balanced text he can enter a visual representation.